this is a short video to show cytology lab in a resource poor setting this, as you can see this is a small room got a sink got a working area got the storage cabinets for all the reagents and some kitchen paper which we find very useful you have a sink again on the working table then you have a funnel labeled hematoxylin only with a hematoxylin container any type of container that is deep enough to accept a slide rack would be appropriate for this you have to filter the hematoxylin every morning to avoid any crystals that will form artifacts on the slide by doing this every morning you ensure that you have a clean slide when you are reporting the other things that you need are 100% alcohol now this serves to wash off some of the glycerin that is used in the alcohol sprays that are used to fix the specimen so you keep it in alcohol for some time usually 10 minutes and then you have tap water this is because you have to move the specimen to hematoxylin and hematoxylin is a water based stain so you put it in regular tap water for some time and go to hematoxylin now hematoxylin is a nuclear stain so you have to ensure that the nucleus is well stained usually that should be in 1.5 minutes that should be enough sometimes it has to stay for a longer period depending on how ripe the hematoxylin is you have running tap water again and this goes to the process where you are actually blowing so within the same tap water we have a receptacle here we have running tap water and you keep at it until you keep doing it until the fluid the water is clear so this slides in it so this is very convenient and you use just regular tap water for it then you have 50 percent alcohol a change of 100 percent alcohol then you come to using a ea then it stays in this for up to about five to ten minutes then you have hundred percent alcohol change you have three changes of hundred percent alcohol and then finally you go to xylene the alcohols ensure that you do not have any water at all before you go into the xylene then you have two changes of xylene after which you can then come to your mounting steam stage at which point you can use your GPX and then you have your cover slips. Now you notice that you know we have about 12 different stations. Some of the stations, especially those ones that have the alcohols and the xylenes can be collapsed depending on the amount of xylene or the absolute alcohol that you have available. At this stage I'll introduce you Kizila Kaufman. He's the one she's the one who has helped us set up this lab. She's from Germany. She's going to demonstrate to us how to um, cover slip one of the slides. So she has a DPX in a nice bottle. She puts some drops on the slide, two drops on the slide. And she takes a cover slip just nicely, drops a cover slip on it, and then waits for some time. That's the whole mountain, yes. Float under the cover slip, ensure that there are no bubbles, the edges are clean, it keeps them standing upright for some time. And that's basically it. You're finished. You can wait for the mountains to set. Afterwards, you have your dustbin, then you have a sharp container which you can dispose all your needles, you have stools then you have another sink where you can wash your hands after um, every procedure or after you have finished for the day that's your towel and your carbolic soup okay that's all then in addition to it finally there's a point here where you have the SOP and this states and gives you clear guidelines as to what you should do in the lab you know there are 12 steps plus the mounting stage that makes it 13 that means you need 12 containers and then you need a stage for mounting you also have some added things the 
HCL 0.75% which comes in very handy if you have to disdain some of the slides and sometimes even very handy when you have to wash some of the stains off the containers because they are stained with hematoxylin or eosin. Thank you very much.